Hello, hello. Happy Thursday to you. Wow, it's so great to be here with you in 2023. We are here live and welcoming you to our live level of conversation. Hi, friends. It's so great to have you with me. If you're joining me on the replay, thanks for watching as well. I'm Winnie Sun, your host, Forbes contributor, CNBC council member, and award-winning financial pro. Here to keep you on top of all things trending, relevant business here in 2023, my friends. But most importantly, what makes our show so fun and why I'm always grateful to have you with us is because you are part of today's discussion. We do share audience feedback uh, through our different community moments here, and we so appreciate you tuning in. A big hello and welcome, of course, to Joshua, a cross X fighter on YouTube Live. It's never quite a show without you here. So thanks so much and thank you so much for your support. Now let's start and let's talk about how the market closed today. Good news. Actually, I'm really glad because this week we've been been really looking at some positive numbers across the board. The Dow closed up 216 points today. NASDAQ up 69 and S&P 500 up 13 points as well. And the stocks definitely rose today after December's consumer price report show, in fact, that inflation has sort of lost some of its steam for the last month. And that's good news. So investors are hoping the Federal Reserve will decide to uh, slow down interest rate hikes with this new information. The Consumer Price Index, as you we often call the CPI, fell, you know, about 0.1% in December. Now, this is definitely something that has met expectations, and it also marks the biggest drop since April of 2020. Now, if we exclude food and energy, the core CPI uh, index actually rose 0.3%, which was also in line with a lot of estimates coming out from the financial industry in the last few weeks. Now, on an annual basis, headline CPI rose 6.5%, while core increased about 5.7%. So we'll take it. We'll take the good information where we can get it. Now, the biggest reason for the easing in inflation came from actually a sharp drop in gasoline prices, which you may have noticed at the pump as you're filling up, or if you just came back maybe from a road trip, you probably saw the variation in, in gas prices. This is They've actually been lower from a year-over-year -year basis from where we were uh, just last year. But one area that definitely started continued to increase was food prices. Food prices increased by 0.3% in December, while shelter also saw another sharp gain, up 0.8% for the month, which is now at 7.5% higher than a year ago today or this week. But let's talk about eggs. Now, you've probably seen the news, and if you haven't, you might want to Google it because it's pretty entertaining. But egg prices across the United States have been driven up by a combination of factors. If you haven't noticed on your grocery bill, they are so expensive now. Now, this includes a deadly avian flu outbreak that happened and a rising cost for feed chicken feed, and energy prices. Now, according to the latest figures from the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics, the average retail price for eggs, believe it or not, is currently at $4.25 per dozen. That's right, $4.25 per dozen, which actually represents an 18% increase since November, which was just a couple months ago, and a whopping 137% increase from a year ago. Talk about expensive eggs. So, yeah, things are getting really expensive. And this is as if this is a report that came out today showing just in fact how expensive this is. I guess, I guess the cost to feed eggs, uh, feed eggs, I guess the cost to feed chickens has certainly increased because they're saying a rising feed cost was a big part of that. But demand continues to be strong. You know, they were saying part of where the demand came from was during holiday baking season. And they were saying there's really not a good substitute for eggs. If you're going to eat omelets, right? If you're going to do scrambled eggs, if you're going to do baking, you really need the eggs. And so even though 
uh, just a little bit of change in terms of the supply chains on eggs can, can drastically increase the price of per dozen that we're seeing. So a lot of places now are even putting a limit on how many cases of eggs you can buy. In fact, there's a lot of stores maybe in your neighborhood that are saying there's a two case limit. That's sort of what we're seeing. I saw that at Costco. I'm seeing that at Sam's Club. We're seeing some of that information at some of the other stores as well. But hopefully that doesn't impact you too much. In fact, I wanted to share because this, this, there's a lot of articles out there, but um, the Yahoo article that we showed uh, recently, that actually shows a lot of information of which retailers are keeping costs lower or have had their price increase more so and which ones are closer to that $4.25 uh, price range. But also I want to share a really fun tweet. And this came from, that was shared today, uh, jmore821 showing that, you know what I'm getting my Valentine uh, for a holiday, uh, for Valentine's this year, I'm getting them a case of eggs. <laughs> that was really fun. You know, you got to have a sense of humor about this. I mean, things are just getting more expensive. Now, on the flip side, if you're in the market for a new used car, there is some good news there because used car prices are down uh, about two and a half percent for the month and are now down almost nine percent year over year. Remember how at that at sort of that middle point or the early part of the pandemic where really uh, used car prices went up quite a bit because of supply and chain issues. But, you know, don't get too comfortable yet, though, because when it comes to interest rates, the Federal Reserve prefers various gauges to adjust for changes in consumer behavior. So, in fact, some experts are even saying that this recent drop in December, this decline, was actually largely fed by a drop in gas prices. And that this may not be sustainable given our current market dynamics and consumer demand. So if we're hoping that the Fed will start to slow down their interest rate hikes, it may not come into fruition. So just keep that in mind. Now let's segue to the last bit of news I'll share with you. And this is something that you may have been reading about or hearing about in the news. And that is on the topic of lotto news. You may have seen Mega, Million, Mil Mega Millions has this, uh, once again a very historic jackpot. Well, once again, well, nobody won it. There were two people in Florida that won pretty big prizes, but that still the big jackpot hasn't been won yet. So I guess if you are uh, looking on um, whether or not to play and you're thinking, or maybe maybe you're looking to win, maybe you win a small jackpot and you can buy eggs for your entire neighborhood. I don't know. But some things to keep in mind, and certainly if you do win, definitely check out an article that I've shared on Forbes talking about what to do when and if you hit the lotto. And with that, my friends, please take a moment to like and subscribe. You can find full episodes of Level Up on NASDAQ with Winnie Sun, of course, on Amazon Fire, Samsung, Roku, and many other platforms. And please check out Yes Factor with Winnie Sun on Apple Podcasts as well. And with that, thank you so much. I can't wait to see you again next week. If I don't see you tomorrow, have a beautiful weekend. Stay safe, stay warm, stay warm. And I'll, I'll see you very, very soon. Take care now.